Uh, um, uh, um, um, whoops, okay, okay. I see what that's doing there. Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome back to Stationeers episode 11, where we have been doing a little bit of work, tearing things down, trying to keep gravity in here though, although there is no atmosphere, we have taken it all away, we still have some resources, we have some gold, we have a good bit of steel, silicon, solder, and iron, what we don't have, what we actually need, is some copper, and to be quite fair with the amount of building we're going to need to do, we're going to need a good bit more iron and some more coal as well. So let's talk about some of the things that I have changed. Uh, the first change is that I took out the logic panels that were controlling the recycler and the centrifuge. So if we're going to use them for now, we just need to turn them on. Eventually, though, what I'm planning on doing which we don't have the resources to do right this second, is to wire it up so that when the shoot bin over here for reclaiming stuff is turned on, then these will be on, and when you turn that shoot bin off, these will turn off. And I was reading online with the forums that some people were saying the sorter does work. You can program it. You just might have to log out and log back in. So I did that, and lo and behold, it works. So our sorter computer now is properly sorting out all of the ore that we want smelted that is pretty much everything except coal and uranium is going to go into the arc furnace with our toggle that we built in the last episode now we should conceivably be able to just drop off a bunch of ore go and come back and drop off a bunch of ore and this place should pretty much slowly start to fill up with ore now my thought process in order to make it so that we're not coming back to stuff floating around all over the place even though i'm not quite ready to get this room set up with gravity is that i'm going to encase this little drop area here with walls so that it can have gravity and then we'll sort of do the same thing here although the chute's not going to be past it so we're going to have to modify the chute slightly let's uh, let's see we're gonna need here we'll just throw you down for now there we go change you to a corner like this and then Let's see, we've got some more shoots here. We're going to start moving a lot more lockers out in this area. As time goes on, there's our straight bin, and now we can go to an outlet. Voila, just like that. We're good to go. Close our locker and get our iron wall kit set up here. And in this way, we're just going to give this little area here its own little gravity so that we can come back without stuff floating all over the place and my plan is going to be to gather as much or as possible so let's drop off the stuff we don't need I did go ahead and grab the portable light and put a battery in it for keeping in our backpack I'm not going to take it with us out mining, though, because it's going to mean that there's that much less that we can hold on to. Let's put our tool belt back. And then the other thing we need to do before we leave is to get our propellant. Oh, the sun! To get our new propellant tank, because our propellant is pretty low, actually. Pretty low indeed. So let's see. 445, 442. There we go in the 5000s looks good we're going to need to pressurize more here pretty soon we have one more tank of propellant i think and then we're going to be trying to scrounge together enough propellant out of the ones that we have left i don't even know why i still have this airlock here 
But I suppose, for the sake of not even using the airlock, we'll just go out this way. And we have some oxite. Unfortunately, that's... That's going to be okay, actually. So what we can do is we can shut this door. And then we should be able to put the oxite in our hand and it won't sublimate because... Oh, this one has all kinds of stuff in it, though. Fertilized eggs and... Okay, but the the oxite will not sublimate because we're shadowed from the sun. There we go. Insert 50 oxite. Wonderful. Now we have all the room we need for heavy resource gathering, and it should all be automatic. We should be able to just mine and mine and continue dropping stuff off and as long as we're not looking for any of the advanced alloys we should get all the smelted ore we want and all of the oh copper first try look at that and all of the pollutants will be siphoned out and stored in a tank so that we can set up a permanent propellant restore refilling area now, I'm not entirely sure how large I want to make everything just yet. and We don't have a room for capturing oxite, because I want to make a special room for capturing and sorting out oxite and volatiles. We're just not there yet. Oh, that's ice. That's not silicon. That's ice. Yeah, and it's going to... Sublimate as soon as we pull it out in the sun. Okay, well, we're carrying ice now. It's fine and dandy. I don't really want to waste any of it. Now, I, I would like to use a stacker. My thought process was to use a stacker so that even if we had incomplete stacks when we dropped or off... The stacker would, you know, make sure that it was in a proper stack, and then we would get these nice 50 gram ingots, unless unless there was just no more to throw into a stack because it changed item types. But apparently the sorters jam, or the, I'm sorry, the stackers jam up. Now this is not anything I did firsthand. This is from what I read online that the stackers actually get all confused and jammed up when they receive an item different than the one they're building a stack for and the stack of that item isn't complete. Now we're going to leave the oxide. Ah, some lead though. We will get the lead. Uh, but the, yeah, so since the stackers cannot sort themselves out when they get... That's more ice, more ice... They cannot sort themselves out when they get a different item than the one they were stacking. Then I, I opted not to use the stacker, that it was not going to to do us any favors, and it just wasn't worth it. But if and when it gets fixed, we can easily build stackers into the system, or at least I feel like it would be pretty easy. And then we can get those nice, pretty 50-gram ingots that I like so much. Because they make everything so easy to work with. Look, it's like it's all coal left. I mean, we need steel, but we need iron too. More than anything, we need iron and copper. Okay, well, this is the part that's going to be a grind, so I'm actually going to knock this grind out. Try to get my ore straight, and when we have enough to go back and drop off and watch the automation magic for a second, then we'll do that. Okay, so we're about to head back with our first bit of resources, but I wanted to... I mined up a little bit of ice, and I was like, oh, I don't want this ice, and I threw it down. Uh, but I wanted to show you what happens to ice in space. It seems like there are a little bit of weird water mechanics as all the air uh, sublimated out. And now we have this little puddle of water, and when I go in there, it actually registers its own pressure. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Okay, anyways, enough of that. I'm sure that'll get squared away eventually. Oh, I can't see because of the blasted sun. Nope, oh, there's our ship. We'll just come down. Oh, 40 meters per second. Might want to slow that down, Thranxes. There we go. 
Try to stay around 20 meters per second or it's going to get dangerous. No, I don't need to go in. What am I doing? Old habits and all that. Right. So, everything should be on. Sorter's on. The computer's on. Let's see how this works. So, we're going to start with the nickel. And then iron ore. Coal. Nickel. Iron. Uh, um, uh, um, um, whoops. Okay, okay. I see what that's doing there. That means it would have put the coal through the arc furnace. Okay, so apparently we've learned a valuable lesson in doing this. And now we have to get our stuff straightened out. That's fine. Okay, there's always going to be hiccups like that. When you do stuff like this, let's get this stuff out of our backpack here. And then we'll pick up the coal, put it away. Let's make sure we got everything that we dropped off. There's another cluster of nickel. So what we have here is that the sorter is whitelisting the stuff on the right. And then the stuff to the arc furnace is on the left. Interesting. Okay, not how I thought that was going to go based on the graphic when you put the when you go to put the sorter down. That's not how it looks like it would go. But that's okay. It's an easy fix. We just need to Let's see. So this one needs to go down. break this we'll break this yep I'll pick that up in a second so then we need another what this one will be over and up okay that's pretty easy fix let's put our steel sheets back and then because this one's gonna have to go up and over Okay, that's going to be a little different than how I had originally planned it. Let's transition to a corner right here. There we go. Like that. And now we need more shoots. Okay, so let's go grab some more shoots. Did I have... No. Let's see. Shoots times five. Perfect. Should be all we need. We'll just shut that door. Zero G. All right. We did see the objects going into two different places, though. You could see that the coal ended up. The coal ended up where everything else should have ended up. Come on. Please. There we go. It can be tricky with objects like corners trying to get them rotated to the proper position because you don't always know which axis which axis it's trying to it's trying to rotate on because it treats one it treats one piece like the front and one piece like the side and in any event we've got it done this should handle it okay so this wasn't as what was that I saw a weird shadow. So it wasn't as automatic as we wanted it to be. But we're going to get it. And after this, we should be good to go. It was sort of my mistake not doing a trial run. when I knew I had changed things up with the sorter. So we know everything else works, but we did not know that the sorter worked, but that's okay. Back to where we were. Now let's start with the iron. Insert, and then we should watch it activate. Oop, there it goes. Flashing red light. 
That's the warm fuzzy I was looking for. So now we'll just put all of our ore in here. Easy. I love automation. Okay, and now we're going to go get more stuff. And that should be busy while we're gone. Great. Wonderful. All right, then I'm going to go and smelt. I'm going to go and gather a lot of resources and smelt a lot and get us set up to where we're not held back by our resources. And I will bring you back when we are at a better place. All right, so we're flying back to our base, and this is our third trip, counting the first one. And, oh, it's still red down there. It's still processing everything. No, that's that's good. That's good. We want to keep it busy. So the big thing that held us back from just mass gathering resources in the past was how long I had to hang out in the room and scrub the air whenever I ran the arc furnace. So what this process has done is not only made it easy and convenient for me to drop stuff off, but has taken all of that work out so that all I have to do is smelt the stuff in the arc furnace in that tiny little contained room, let the filter run, and let our gas tank fill up with pollutants. It's 232 on the pressure, still have plenty of room. This tank can hold quite a bit. From what I've read online, the pipe will burst before the tank does. So I'm not too worried about that. Now we do need to recharge the battery in our suit. So we're going to do that. And then, hmm, do I want to make some more trips? I think I do want to make some more trips. I've gotten a lot of iron and a lot of copper. Not much of anything else. I guess I've used up all of my large batteries and stuff. Okay, so then if that's the case, let's go ahead and we'll use this time while the battery charges to check out what everything looks like in its current state. And that's concerning. Well, now I'm really glad I checked on everything. So it seems like if the chute backs up... Then, then stuff just gets spit out all over the place. Ooh, look at that pile of ingots, though. It is working. It is working hard. Oh, so I need... Maybe a second arc furnace? Maybe I should do the arc furnace over here. I've decided not to do the, the manual furnace over in this corner because that needs its own room because it's going to be dealing with compressed gases and temperatures and everything, but maybe a second arc furnace. So if I was going to do that, though, it would make sense to put it all in one room and not duplicate this over on the other side. That seems like a little bit of madness. Um, but my goodness, we have ore floating all over the place now. So let's... Let me think about how I want to handle this real quick. I know what we'll do. Turn this off, swap that there, put this tool belt on. Okay, let's go get ourselves a, another locker. Think we have some to spare? Or we have a locker to spare, pretty sure, if we take this one, which I'm inclined to. We also still have a good amount of resources in the electronics printer. However, there's just no copper to be had anywhere. I've, I've taken the copper out of everything. There we go. Give me my locker. Put that in our backpack. Okay, so let's go pick up all the ore that is floating around. And it looks like... It's quite a lot, and I suppose that makes sense, because things like gold and copper actually take quite a bit of time to smelt. So I'm trying to think what I can do in the future. I could put a... 
windowed area there. Wait, it's not full. Oh, it's run through everything. Um, okay, that's odd. Maybe, maybe I'm not experiencing the problem that I thought I was. Let's put, what is this? Oh, that's silicon. Let's put this stuff in here and let's watch it go down and it should end up. It should have ended up. Um, okay, so if I put the coal the coal should end up over here. And it doesn't. What is causing... What, what, what is happening? What is happening? Stuff is just flying out. I thought, the, I thought it was because the line was backed up. The line is not backed up. Sorter's on. The computer is on. Something must be jammed up somewhere. Iron got jammed up in the sorter somehow. Not sure what happened there. Let's check this chute here. Nope, that one's good. Uh, okay, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I don't want to lose all of this precious ore I worked so hard for. Like that room's already scrubbed, it's clean. All right, let's put the iron in again, and this time it should... Okay, it worked. Let's put this iron in, and it should not just spit out randomly. So I think what caused our issue with the sorter was that the chute had backed up to the sorter and there was nothing in the sorter that was telling it, okay, now that your way isn't blocked anymore, now you should kick out the next item. Hmm. So maybe we need a longer little spiraling winding chute in between the sorter and the furnace to ensure that there is enough room for everything to pile up even during rapid resource gathering. Because what I don't want to do is have to throttle back my resource gathering. That was the whole point of automating it, was to be in a position where we could gather and harvest stuff very quickly. All right, we've got some iron. That should be a window. So you can only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if you can have that one occupied or not. So I'm going to say you can only have eight backlogged and, but look at all that. Look, we've got all this ore just hanging out here, all these ingots and all the gases are captured. It is still by and large so much easier and less time consuming than what what we had been doing or what I had, you know, staying in the room with the scrubber, that was that was just painful. Okay, we put the coal in there and we should see the coal drop out here. Boop, there it goes. Good. Okay, we're holding on to our coal. I guess we'll just keep putting iron in and copper. So I feel like at this point we're going to have backlog at this point. Let's just see what's here. Huh. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so we must still be good. That's about all I can figure. Oh yeah, the silicon's next. Oh man. Okay, so so the only reason that this thing should slow down is if it hits gold. Cuz even the copper, the copper doesn't smelt as fast as the iron, but it does smelt relatively quickly. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put a locker here. 
for... Oh! Oh! Nope. Try again. Try again, Thranxes. Put a locker here, and this locker will be for gold. So if you have gold, you can drop it off here in the locker so you can smelt it later when you're not trying to smelt other stuff. So let's... Oh! Oh, we're out of power. Okay, I felt like there was gold tumbling around. Iron, nickel, iron, copper. Almost positive we had a gold ore tumbling around here somewhere that I'm going to need to locate. Hey, look at that. Battery's fully charged. Boom, back on with our light. I don't know where the gold went, though. Zero G. Could be tumbling somewhere out into space. Which, if that's the case, it's going to come back hurtling and probably wreck our, our mask at some point. Yeah, I don't see the gold here anywhere. And I knew we had some. Unless it's in there now. I don't quite recall. Yeah, but there is absolutely no gold in that pile. And there's the coal. Oh, did it go back here in the maintenance hallway? Maybe it's knocking around? No, but I know where there is some gold. So let's go ahead and grab it, and we'll just put the gold in the locker, and then we'll just note that the gold is the last thing that we queue up to smelt. So after we start putting everything in the gold five, iron, okay, I know we had some gold, lead 50. We might as well move all this over there. Ooh, look at all this coal. Oh my goodness. And then all of these are in complete stacks. Okay, that is acceptable. Oh, I know we, I, we still have some gold bars, but I know we had gold ore kicking around as well, and I'm... Hmm, not sure what happened to it. It could have gone down, maybe. Hmm. Did I stuff it in the... Yep, there's some. Okay, that's good. And then we'll take the iron and the coal as well. Uh, we'll do the coal later. Okay. So the gold goes in the locker for later. Boop. And then we'll just process all this other metal. So iron, coal, lead, iron, coal. And the benefit of smelting the stuff before you put it in the manual furnace as well is not only do you not waste the gases, the pollutants that you could use, um, but also you're getting a lot of things like nitrogen. You know, when you smelt silicon, you get a lot of nitrogen, but when you, when you smelt um, other metals, you get trace amounts of nitrogen, CO2, and all that, which you can use to regulate your atmosphere mixture later. But the big reason I like to do it is because then you don't have to worry about venting gases out of your furnace. When you put your ingots in to smelt, um, the coal doesn't give it any gases, and the iron doesn't have any gases left in it. So it becomes a fairly easy process to make happen. Look at all those resources. We're just going to keep piling stuff up in these little boxes. Shoom, another another stack of iron. 52? That ingot has 52 in it. What? It's not a, that's not a, a pretty 50 gram ingot. That's 52. That's not... Er, okay. Well, at this point... There's really nothing left for me to do except to gather lots of resources and keep this 
fire burning here. Let's check our... Oh, we don't need the reader. That's right, I put a gauge on it. I thought ahead. 518 kPa. Getting quite a lot of pollutants into the tank here. But that's good. We're going to repurpose them at some point. This section is going to have to be modified because we're going to need a build to build an area to start to process our gases. This tank that stored all the air we had in our in our uh, our old little area here is was only temporary. And this stuff here is not going to stay the way it is. And we're going to start taking everything apart. I don't think we're going to recycle and toss pipes into the centrifuge or cables into the centrifuge, but what we can do is we can get a lot of these iron frames, which we might as well do that one time just to show that it works when you have everything on. So let's turn these things on. They don't run themselves yet. But they will. We'll get some logic panels and we'll tie them to the recycler chute. And we need the crowbar. All right. Let's start pulling apart all these iron walls here. Look at it. Now we can now we can just drop in from the ceiling whenever we want. Oh, it looks so bad though. It's just a bunch of scaffolding now. Hope you don't have stuff rolling around. That won't go well. We can get these panels here. In fact, we can get these panels here. 24, what does that give us? 24 iron frames. Let's drop down in here. Eee, nice and easy. So what else we have? Iron sheets, not frames, but sheets, right? So we have 30 glass sheets, steel frames, iron frames, kit walls. I don't think we're going to be able to fill it up just yet. Uh, maybe. Let's start pulling more of these panels out here. Very good. And then what else? All these other ceiling panels got pulled. You're not important. Nothing you do is important anymore here. I'm just going to slowly tear it all apart. Piece by piece. What does that give us for frames? Or sheets. Sheets, rather. Ugh. 42. Okay, let's, let's keep it going here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's fifty. So let's just jetpack on out of here. Zero G. Yep, thank you. As so we're gonna start repurposing all of this iron. So now we have iron sheets, which fifty of them. Boom, and they should Oh no, it's not connected. Darn it. I wanted to see the magic happen. Oh, that's right. I had not yet worked out. I had not yet worked out how this has to be for that to be the case. So fine, we'll just... What's the time on the episode? We have time. There's always time. We'll make time. But we don't have any more shoots, do we? I think I think we can do it here. Let's. So I think I think the trick is actually going to end up being that we need a corner here. Let's see. I think I can do this. Then we need this one would be straight. Right. No. What we need is an outlet here. Uh, that runs like this, right? Which means this one should be straight, like this, and this one would be straight as well. And then we put our corner here. 
and voila that should spit the frames into the thing but i don't know if the uh, or the sheets into the thing but i don't know if the frame is going to interfere with it or not if it doesn't work then we'll just manually feed it in but ideally i'm trying to automate a lot of this stuff because that's what's so much fun for me let's see what that does Floom. nope doesn't work okay well then we're just going to manually feed it in and it should give us a whole lot of regents boom which should give us a whole lot of iron which should stack up here and be waiting to go as the iron continues to 148 102 100 100 what's happening in there it's it's shoving more ore in before the last ore has gotten out and it's just continuing the smelting process that's interesting okay but we're starting to get a lot of resources now uh, we're going to need more gold uh, we did get the copper that we needed to start building more logic panels but we're going to need more gold not long after but this has been the Stationers episode 11, the demonstration of our automated smelting area in work. And as you can see, working it does. Now it does get backed up. So I think what I'm going to do in between this episode and next, is I'm going to run this shoot down kind of in this big, long, windy spiral just to give this area as much of a chance to smelt everything. What? Ah, it's got to be copper. Copper, that's right. Copper does not produce pollutants. So there you have it. Um, this has been Station Years Episode 11. Thank you. No. No. All of our oxite just sublimated when the sun hit it. Oh, because I left it in the cooler and the... Oh, well, that's fine. There is a lot more oxide that we can get, and we still have our station air in the tank. Anyways, interrupted my my uh, my ending here. This has been Station Ears episode 11. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a good have had a good time watching, because as always, I have had a good time playing. Please come back next time as we continue to stockpile. No resources should be stockpiled. By the time I bring everybody back next time, we will be in construction phase and we will be talking about trying to get an atmosphere that is regulated and managed and hopefully maybe automated as well but i think some of the sophisticated pipe pieces take advanced alloys but until next time take care